Hi, I'm Paul at One Man One Dog. This is Puppy Flo. Today is Friday the 12th of March 2021 and the last video was a May X video and that's the e-bike that I've had problems with and I've been sorting it out. So for the last year I've had low testosterone and it got to a stage where I couldn't even stand up without feeling all shaky and needing to sit down so I've been put on testosterone injections and I have them every 16 week and I had it three weeks ago so it should be starting to kick in after about a month the doctor said but also they've done blood tests and I've got low folate I've got folate anemia and that's folic acid and yeah my vitamin B's alright the doctor said but yeah I've got low folate so I've been put on tablets for that I started that a week ago and I'll be on them for two months so a quick update on my health and that's why I haven't been riding and I've only been putting dog walk videos on because that's all I've been able to do I haven't been able to get my bikes up and down the stairs. I've been sleeping loads and yeah. Anyway, this is a video of the Mate X and I should have handlebars coming this week. So the video starting from this morning and a few things that I've done today. Okay, let's do it. Hi, I'm Paul at One Man One Dog and I've got Poppy Flo with me. Today is Friday the 12th of March 2021 and I ended the last video today and the last video was a May X video and it'll pop up now right so that's a May X video and it's shown that the battery failed and I replaced it with a high long 48 volt 16 amp power battery I've also come up with a name for it now fat one so today I miss the handlebars coming, they come at 9 o'clock, I was awake, just didn't hear it, I live up two flights of stairs and didn't hear it, so I miss the handlebars, the headstock and my gear shifter, which I'm a bit gutted, I could have fixed it up and gone for a ride this weekend, but can't now. Anyway, on a positive note, the blue brake cables have come, so I'm going to fit them later and show them when I fitted them, but yeah, this is my mate x story part seven i think now yeah and it goes on and on and on but now it's turning into a custom e-bike and yeah i've got big plans for this e-bike so stay tuned and yeah you're gonna see maybe not in this video maybe not the next video but somewhere down the line i've got big plans for it and yeah a bit of a hint 1500 watt right so i've painted over the mate x logo it said mate there and it had a full stop and i've painted over that and come up with my own name and that's fat one i'm going to put the logo on there too and the opposite side so in the last video i cut three inches off each mud guard so that's the front one this is the back one probably a bit more than three inches off this one i fitted the brake light Got it. It's not the blue brake cables. It's actually cable ties. <laughs> so I'm gonna finish the logos off today. Okay, it's half eight and I've finished the logos on both sides. I used to be a graffiti artist, so I'm quite used to drawing on stuff with paint markers and yeah, I enjoy doing it, so I enjoy doing that. 
So that's the end for today. And the logos are done. Hopefully it's dry tomorrow and I can lacquer over them to protect them. So, yeah, that's today's work. And, yeah, I'll catch up with you tomorrow. Okay? Hi, it's 8am on Monday the 15th of March 2021. On weekend, I lacquered over the logo. If you can see there, big reflection. So that's protected. I lacquered over the same there uh, and the same on the other side. So I missed a delivery from eBay and that's bankrupt bike parts. Well, I missed it on Friday and they're coming today. So it says it's out for delivery and that's a BMX headstock, BMX handlebars and a gear shifter. Because this gear shifter is broke. So the original handlebars are folding ones. It's got a mechanism here and it folds, but don't want folding bars. And I really don't like the look of them. Just because it's an e-bike, you don't have to put corner e-bike handlebars on that you see on these smaller folding ones. Um, looks rubbish. Um, do not like it. Didn't like it the first day I seen it. It just don't suit the bike. If you can see there, it just don't look right. And yeah, so I'm going to fit the parts when we come and I'll catch up in a bit. This little sweetheart has just had a morning porridge. Aren't you, darling? Eh? Aren't ya? Right, calm down. Calm <coughs> down. Right, okay, we've got two parcels. So this looks like the blue brake cables. Let's have a look. Get your nose out. <coughs> Don't care, I can't open it with your nose in the way. You've got to wait, wait. I'm telling you, girl, wait. I don't care. You'll get to see what it is, but wait. So, two blue brake cables. Not the light blue that was advertised on eBay, but a darker blue, so... Don't know whether I'll be using them because they don't won't match the grips that I've got all the other stuff. So yeah. Move your nose. <coughs> Move. Can't find my scissors. Right, move your nose. Move. So, the headstock. Let's just open that. So, the BMX headstock. With eight speed gear shifter and it's a revo shift as you can see there with a cable my handlebars right they um they look smaller than I imagined this bit here mean from there to there looks smaller thought I'd be up there so they're the correct size and the correct rise so that's the parts from Bankrupt Bike Parts, that's a UK eBay shop and I'm going to walk puppy and tire her out so she's not as mad and yeah I'll fit them this afternoon so I'll catch up later. Right okay so it's unfold the handlebars and take the mechanism off, 
the headstock I don't know why it's called so this is inside the mechanism you've got my big allen key there and there's a bolt there if you can see a bolt there okay so what's the handlebars off Literally a 20 minute job. So I've not got room to get further back and show you what it's like, but I'll get all the stuff off the old handlebars on, like brakes, throttle, gear shifter, etc. etc. Right, it's 12 o'clock and I've been getting my stuff in place in its position. A new gear shifter. Okay, catch up in a bit. Right, so it's half two and I've finished them for now. Need a few more tweaks but we're not completely finished but that button's moved a bit there so I put the display on that pad in there you can see it's off an old electric dirt bike and if I can get round here you can see it's cable tied on put a red grip there just for now so I'll make sure the shifter is okay first before cutting down my blue grip. So that's the shifter, the display, the throttle. Right. So that's what it looks like side on. Okay. I've got the wires to mess with now. Changing the gear shifter cable. It's, if you can see, like that. And I need to put it in my old gear shifter cable. So I'm going to be doing that next. And I'll catch up with you in a bit. Right okay it's now quarter past four. So I've fitted a blue brake cable for the gear cable. I ordered two long ones just in case. So as you can see there. Going to the brake, and if you can see underneath, going to the gear shifter, just needs some adjustment. That's it, and I'll show you the other side. Alright, just a bit of tidying. Got lots of handlebars and my blue cables. Runs down here. It was £8 for two rear cables and like I said I've used one as a gear cable outer. Right I'm going to have a bit of a tidy up and I'm going to index the gears after. Wish me luck. <laughs> right so big drama. Can't find my key for the battery so I can't lock it in place and it needs to be locked in place it could come undone and lose connection so i've been looking for two days cannot find it don't know where it is so i'm gonna have to bodge something up i think right it's r5 and i've done some more tweaks so if you see i've put the display here i've used two bits of old grip on each side as a spacer right now to index the gears putting it off don't like doing it <laughs> and can you blame me it can be a right pain right shall we see if it turns on focus there we go so that's it and 
like I keep on saying, putting off doing the gear indexing, but I'm gonna sort it, just wanted to show it working. So I'll turn it off. So a bit dodgy, had to clamp it on my seat, couldn't get it on my frame anywhere, so I've actually surprised myself and I set it up how I've watched on part tools in my past on YouTube and I did it how they say and if you can see you can hear the gear click so that's a gear I've got limited space here because it's catching on my frame the pedal the frame move your head you move your head no So there, it's gone up one. And then up again, goes all the way up and all the way down. So that's it. So I'm going to get it off the stand now because I don't feel it's safe with flow around and I don't want it dropping off. Okay, I'll catch up in a minute. But that's the gears indexing done. Right, okay, it's now 11pm and I've done quite a lot on it. I've put cable ties on my battery instead of them straps. I've put the display there and I don't know if I mentioned, I've used blue grips, bits of blue grip for the spacer. If you can see around there, I've fitted blue cables. I fitted a blue grip, I've removed the padding, fitted a blue grip that side, I've sprayed the front mug guard, I fitted this plastic mug guard and sprayed it and took one black metal one off the back because it's quite heavy. I want it as light as possible because it's a heavy bike anyway. Okay, so it's Tuesday the 16th of March 2021 and it's half eight in the morning and as you've seen the bike's finished now. So I was going to go a ride today but it's raining and yeah I've just been editing this video and it's already 18 minutes long so I'm going to end it here and the next video that's on my YouTube channel is going to be a ride. So it's going to be a ride on my mate X, aka Fat One. So if you're new to this content or you've got a mate X, please consider subscribing. It helps my channel grow and yeah, it helps a load. And as I always say, if you're already subscribed and you're watching this, big massive thanks for sticking around and. Been watching me, Paul, and Puppy Flow at One Man One Dog. It's been a Mate X Fat One customization video, and thanks for watching, Flow. What are you doing? So thanks for watching and tune in for the next video. Like I said, it's going to be a ride video. Okay, thanks. Bye.